folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the one-shot edition. We got a barn burner for you tonight, folks. These guys have no idea what the hell they're getting into. Uh, what you saw on the preview is what they know. So, pew! Uh, thanks for joining us in the chaos. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like this, yeah. or like this, or like, like that, this. hit our shop <laughs> up. Uh, big shout out to Pirate Dog Dice. I will not be using Big Red tonight. I have no need to. These guys will fuck themselves over. Pirate Dog Dice, if you want a custom set of dice like... Taryn has uh go ahead and hit up pirate dog dice on twitter uh and you know the drill if your game stinks uh try adventure sets do not deeply inhale putrid sewers right kyle kyle ain't listening don't deeply inhale these uh he ain't listening <laughs> he is totally listening he is listening uh Oh, and at, at Fish Games uh, also does the Shine Project. So if you want to learn how to write better uh, or bestest, uh, pick that up. Also, their How to RPG with Your Cat is about to hit Kickstarter. Uh, so keep an eye on their Twitter and ours, and we'll get to you the information when we know it. Like I said, tonight is a one shot. They are eighth level, so they're big wigs. Uh, like let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast. Everybody's playing something a little bit weird that they've never played before, so they're going to go ahead and expound on their normal <laughs> who am I. We'll start with David. David, oh, crap. who are you? Who you play? All right. Hi, I'm David. I am usually on our Cacophony uh, show on every other Thursday, and I'm on the every other Saturday campaign, Calamity campaign. That's uh, campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And then I'm also uh, usually on BTR until any of you want to come and take me out. That's fine. <laughs> so uh, anyway, tonight I will be playing a character named Bibwit Hart. He is part of the new UA that came out. He was a human that went into the Feywild, got changed. He comes out. He is now a rabbit folk. So when we get together tonight, they will see a rabbit in a waistcoat and a top hat. <laughs> You're that rabbit. Mm-hmm. Bib Widhart. Bib so Widhart <laughs> is an anagram for white rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> yeah, cute. I said, you're that rabbit from that story. Because mm -hmm. there's also that rabbit from that movie. That uh, that book series. There's also yep. that rabbit from that video game, which is a whole different story, and I hope closer to the one you're playing. You're talking think, American McGee, huh? <laughs> I think he's going to be more like the rabbit from Monty Python. Probably. That's, that is that rabbit from that movie. <laughs> you know, it does That's not surprise that. me that uh, some of you picked shit from the new UA that was released. That is why I didn't tell you very much about tonight's adventure. <laughs> Next up is Rob. Rob, same questions, different answers. Hey, I'm Rob. I play Dave on the best campaign on Murder Hobo Inc. Oh, and, please. And happen to be the best drinker on the best campaign on Murder Hobo Inc. But that aside, tonight I'm going to play Babs. That's contested. Bear. Scott drinks very well. And he does. Yeah, he does. I'm going to play Babs Bugbear, simple Bugbear, Totem Path, Barbarian, uh, Round seventh level got lost in the Feywild for a while and became Fey touched. So tripping back out of the Feywild, it ended up in Phil Bar and um, things to remember: bugbears have ten feet of reach in melee combat. Oh yeah! And you got to pull. I also one, brought right? out the die most Gosh. likely to roll in that one. <laughs> nice. No, uh, no pole arm, just two handed. Not yeah, she's female. Kyle, you're up next. <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 our mer uh, mature audiences only, baby. Mature loves females. Hey, everybody. I'm Kyle. I uh, um, wow. Welcome to Between the Rolls on Tuesday nights. Uh, I honestly don't know what the discussion is about tonight. I, I didn't watch any of the shows this past week. Apparently, he just so didn't know what reality is. Wrong, 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 yeah. wrong script. Use the other script. Wrong script. Oh, right, right. Uh, Do you have a script for this? 
I do. Kyle does. <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our archive. <laughs> We're never going to play. He's just going to... <laughs> it just sent the game off the rails completely. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm Kyle. You'll see me sometimes on Between the Rolls unless I'm sick and coughing and hacking up, and even then you'll still see me. Uh, and then I run the Consolation Campaign on oh, no, Thursdays. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Where uh, we had too many of people applying to the same campaign, and so they dredged up the 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 best DM they had other than and he was sick, no, so we had to no, go with no, no, Kyle. No, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, yeah. no, just cut it after it said they uh, dredged up the best GM they have. And he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever seen Naked Gun, he was that white outline they had drawn on the water. Oh. <laughs> Underwater? <laughs> that is not dead, which can't turn a lie. <laughs> Uh, and tonight I will uh, also be playing uh, something from the UA. I will be playing uh, Butler Boone, the armor uh, artificer owl folk, also known to his friends as uh, Bubo. And he's yeah. just a small little owl, just making his way through the world. Wow. Takes wow. everything you got. Yeah, Kyle likes self-deprecation, but if you want to have a good time, uh, check out the show on Thursdays before that other wildly successful D&D stream uh, starts. Between so, the rules. Yeah, you, you can get in all comedy. of Kyle's we show get more, before... We get more views than the other one, so... Get the critical it's the role. quality. No. <laughs> oh no, I thought he was talking about Saturday. But you, Matt Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I thought he was talking about Saturday. I have to throw some shade at Saturday's way. So uh, you gotta throw some shade because you get picked for thir- Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, more people watch Jersey Shore than Masterpiece Theater. Just saying. Uh, yeah. oh, there it is. <laughs> Boom. Uh, last but certainly not least, we have Carol. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, as you said, my name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter. I am on the th- best campaign on this channel which is the coffee has been over for a couple months now and now she's on the yes that's other true one. the first right. one was amazing i uh, know but the but the one the currently best campaign that's running aka cthulhu comes or rises or whatever we're calling it and everyone dies it's it is except for really, me you know why because he's the gym up and my pull up so far failing to be a part of we'll, we'll call that campaign Carol's hubris campaign. I, I love. I, I thought love, failure <laughs> to eponymize. Actually, I love. I love that campaign. I'm having a great time in it. Kyle's doing a great job running it. So, and I don't call here, it here. the consolation. It's not consolation one. They actually. They divided it. Yeah, Kyle picked me and DJ to be on it, so it he is, wanted us. It's constellation because to it's be Stella, fair, baby. I wanted certain people, but I couldn't have them. <laughs> so I picked the next <laughs> best thing. Uh, and then I couldn't have that's them. why it's called <laughs> constellation. He's totally now I understand, lying. Kyle. <laughs> He's lying. He wanted he wanted me right from the get go. <laughs> but anyways, I this wow. starts with Matt Mercer, but you know. <laughs> Besides, I wanted besides. David, Scott, DJ. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, Wait, so, Kyle wanted yeah, by the way, and Rob. <laughs> by the way, if you want to know why it's the best, it's because our GM at least knows how skills work, and he'll actually call for the correct ones. I would like to say that, you know, I don't shit on Frank as much as my players. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> In public, anyway. Well, <laughs> your players yeah. can shit on me because... The one shots are the only time I get a hold of them. In That's trouble. right. The one shots. So who cares? Hey. hey, hey, you know what? I love Frank. Luna and that's cares. In, in all seriousness, I do. I love Frank. I know he's a fucking bust. Hey, Frank. And after that, between the roles where they all shit on me, turnabout is fair play. So, uh, oh, as for what I'm playing tonight, because we should actually get to gaming. I'm playing, I'm not playing anything from the UA, but it is a new to me class. I've never tried a warlock, so what the hell? Uh, I'm trying a Fate Pack warlock uh, named Celeste Prospero, and what her deal is, she's a painter. 
who her patron is her muse. But that probably really won't come into play here, other than the nifty bonuses I get from I'm my sorry, patron. I'm uh, sorry, he's not me. He won't play out your patron in it. Oh, I don't care. Not for tonight. It's a one shot. Yeah. I I almost gave it away early. Okay, that's that seems fair to me. Okay, uh, there it is, folks. If you ever want to have a seat on the one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays, hit us up M Hobo in Twitter or Gmail, and we will get you on there. Uh, also, PSA: Don't forget to set your clocks forward so we can all be fucking cranky uh, all week long because the lawmakers have their head up their ass. Uh, so let's get on to the game. Every, uh, if you tuned in early enough, you saw the intro. These guys have rolled into a small lakeside community near Lake Tahoe, found the closest tavern, and have started drinking. Suddenly, yeah. a rainstorm hits, but as they look out the windows, the sun's shining. The water is just pouring down, uh, and a small urchin slash or child resident comes running in and says, there's a problem down by the lake. I suggest we kill the child, bar the doors of the tavern, and, and begin drinking. cooking and eating everyone. <laughs> I have taken that into account. Is that oh, the man. course of action you want? No. It's a one shot, man. I've taken everything into account this time. No, I, I don't <laughs> want to do that. <clears throat> uh, bib whip looks at uh, his clockwork timepiece and goes, I'm always in a rush. And even when I take a break, but fuck it, I got time for this. Click. <laughs> so we're going outside or we're staying in? Um, Do you I'm guys? not the leader of this party. Who's the one that's, uh, that said that? I guess Who's I'll go outside. Who's the leader of the band of it for you and but Maybe it is me. I got the... You are L I got... I got you mad must. charisma, so maybe I'm later. Fine, let's go. And I'm going to walk out the door. Everybody is soaked immediately. I mean, boom, right down to the flesh. There is a shitload of water. There are fish at your feet flopping around. Everybody give me a perception check. Or should I make it a nature check? <laughs> I rolled shitty either way. Uh, 23 for Bibwit. Three. Three. I don't see shit. 15. Uh, Babs, Bubo, Celeste, uh, you are just trying yeah. to shield yourself from the falling fish. Uh, Bibwit uh, looks at his timepiece, looks out into the lake, and notices a cyclone of sorts that appears to be topped by what might be a Human male. Everybody roll Arcana. That, that is quite odd. Um, quick quick question or a quick bit of information. I, I have the um, aspect of the eagle, so anything within a mile I see as though it's uh, clear and bright and close to me with my eagle eyes. Do I get any extra perceptions of what this dude looks like? Uh, that one and a 19. Your... There you go. Uh, which is a 17. Because <laughs> it's Arcana. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, Bubo, Celeste, and Biblet. Uh, 23 on Arcana. 18? 28? Pretty? Uh, Babs? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like a human male topless hanging out on the top of a cyclone uh, that is parting the water, shooting it upright, and sending it onto the town and the buildings, hence all the dead or the dying fish at your feet. Bubo, He's Celeste, and Bibwit. This pretty. looks like uh, one of them there. Merits? Genies. <laughs> I am the genie of the lake. Uh, the, <laughs> pretty. The, uh, Jen... Uh, is right at the edge and seems to be going out towards the middle of the lake. This is kind of a Lake Michigan kind of thing. It's not, you know, your standard country lake. This is some big water here. Uh, but currently, as the air elemental boss creature heads out, he is leaving awake, a.k.a. 
Moses-ish trail wow. if you wish to intercede. Well, I know what happened in that story when people, <clears throat> when when the uh, Pharaoh's army went into the the opening there. Uh, None of I you know have I'm, a chariot. Uh, as far as you know, thank you very much. <laughs> That's true. We are at the level, you know, we might have a chariot. Uh, we're, we're, so we're supposed to actually walk through the the water? He, he's only, a, uh, he's not even a hundred yards in. Is he backing for us to call, to follow him, or? His back is to you. His back is to you. Yes. No idea, no care in the world, gives zero shits. Wow. Hey! Do you! I get his attention with my crossbow. <laughs> you, can, you can attempt such. Is that high are, charisma? Are you going to go down by the edge? Because you can assume that the air currents buffeting around are going to prohibit any yelling to him unless you get closer. Right. Well, I have a range of 600 feet, so you said 100 yards. That's half not, of that. Not, yeah, not even 100 yards. So you can shoot just, him in the back if you want. I'm going to get his attention. Sure. Uh, <laughs> can does, I move away from Does a 20 quick? hit? <laughs> uh, natural or? Uh, 13 plus 7. No. Uh, the air buffets the crossbow bolt away. Phew. <laughs> I'm going to do what I was about to he do. He doesn't I'm gonna notice. Start, I'm going to start yelling, trying to yell at him. Like, hey! Uh, are you going to move closer? Because he ain't going to be able to hear you. Uh, oh, I'm going to move towards him after firing the shot. <laughs> I guess I will try. To, I guess I will move closer to him. I can I'll try flying up to him. Boop, 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 boop. Keep in mind, there's a lot of air buffeting up there. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody, perception check as you head to the edge. I should have been better at that. What's his altitude? <laughs> his altitude's about 30 feet up. Uh, 18. 19. That one. No perception <laughs> at all. I'm staring at the pretty boy. Everybody <laughs> but Babs notices uh, fractured timbers. Uh, broken wood pieces. Looks like uh, you know shipwrecks. But he, the Jin, keeps doing this, bypassing the area. Now he has moved the water about thirty feet out with him in the center. Uh, so the bottom, everybody that Babs will notice, uh, is a little bit mucky, uh, but. You know, it, it's not going to be considered difficult terrain, uh, but it's not going to be walking on the highway either. Uh, uh, Celeste yells, but still clearly intent upon finding something. I was about to say, he is definitely looking for something. So probably something that was stolen or lost. So I'll yell at him. Hey, sexy! <coughs> if he hears you, he doesn't give a shit. And his his trail starts to turn, and he kind of starts to make a zigzag pattern, trying to open up his field of view. But his he is focused this way. You guys are behind him. I will Hi. attempt to fly up to him. I'm so tempted to Eldridge blast him, but That's a Eldridge blast. Yeah, I would be. I'm going to try other things first. <coughs> Give me your first dexterity check as you get close to the outer ring. <laughs> uh, I think that is a nine. Somebody catch Boobo. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Somebody catch Boobo. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> his, his eyes begin to spin and he's. Is that a dexterity or athletics inverted. check? Uh, that would the be, head uh, is spinning around. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you either if you can catch him. But then you have to do this. 
<laughs> oh, the Heisman Trophy uh, Well, a, adjusted for athletics, that gives me a 25. Billy White Shoes Johnson catches Bugo <laughs> and spikes him right into the silt on the bottom. Wasn't going to spike him. Uh, Thought I might so, return. So, so Babs has run forward into the silt and managed to catch Bubo before he At gets least 40 feet out into it. Stuff. Uh, Celeste and Bill Witt, what do you want to do? Bill Witt. You Bill can Witt. just call Sorry. it rabbit. You just called me rabbit. Uh, uh, Not rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit is We're, good. Rabbit is fine. From the <laughs> Twister. We'll, we'll, uh, uh, rabbit will start heading out towards uh, Bubo. Hey, and hanging on to his top hat, I assume. Probably, yeah. And his umbrella. That's how he kept the fish off of him so he could see. <laughs> nice. Celeste? I'll follow him. Okay. You guys head on out there. Uh, I want to try and get under that dude. Well, you all notice <laughs> he has come to a stop and his cyclone is still holding the water at bay. Uh, but he is reaching down into something. This would be a large creature. So the gin are quite large. Uh, but it appears as though he has found something that strikes his interest. The, the great big walls of the water tower ominously next to you. Oh, this is making me nervous. So can and I get underneath him? As you guys approach... There are four shipwrecks there that he has fucking bypassed. So you can attempt to get close to him. Of course, you're going to need that dexterity <laughs> roll at mm -hmm. the edge, and then you'll need a second dexterity roll on the inner circle. So if you want to go up and tap oh. on his butt, I don't mind. You just got to make your roll. Can I get within 30 feet of him? Sure. Well, 30 feet is going to require the first uh, dex check. Yep. Uh, that'll be like um, a 19 plus four. So uh, You look like Bill Murray headed out right before the uh, priest gets hit by lightning in Caddyshack. Cool. As soon as I get within 30 feet, I bonus action Misty step right to him and grapple. Nice. Okay. Uh, everybody sees Babs the bugbear Disappear. You know you're grappling with something quite powerful, right? I just rocked the Feywild, baby. Oh, yeah, so, uh, now, do you still have Bubo with you? Because you might crush Bubo between. No, I, I'd let him. I'd have to let him go to Misty Step. So he's, uh, he's back where I started. Bubo, give me a. Uh, uh, well, no, Bubo, you're fine because he Misty Stepped. Oh, no, he was within 30. Give me a dex check. Roll high, Kyle. You're muted. You're, you're muted. 15. Uh, it's pretty rough. <laughs> and the, the, <laughs> the water is not what you like, but you are bravely fighting rage, rage against the brain. Uh, would you like to continue forward? Yeah, I'll walk, though, this time. Okay, you lower yourself. Uh, Bibwit Celeste, uh, tally ho, or what do you want to do? Uh, yes, tally ho. So I keep going too. Mm -hmm. fair, fair enough. When you guys reach the 30 foot mark, first dex check. Uh, Bubo, wait, 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 wait. You move forward. Uh, <laughs> Babs, let's yep. uh, roll off, see if you can uh, grapple this guy. Oh, yeah. You ain't going to be able to grapple him. Uh, that's the uh, uh, 22. Well, I tie him, so he's gonna beat me. Okay, uh, 18 plus four is 22. You jump at him just as he moves his arm underneath, so he's gonna have that free arm. He pulls forth a blue gem from uh, the wreckage and looks at you and scowls menacingly and screams at you, What are you doing? Trying to give you a hug. Uh, let's everybody roll initiative. Oh, what? Boy. Nap 20, first of the night, bitches. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I got a 22 total. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, 11 for initiative. <laughs> Shit. 13. 13. Fubo. Seven. Nice rolling, Tex. <laughs> uh, hmm. What, oh, what should I do? You should forgive us this transgression. I don't think so. Uh, since uh, Babs is right in front of me, I'll go with uh, two scimitar attacks on Babs. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is pathetic rolls. Uh, 10 and 11 on the strikes. Oh, Not wait, even wait, wait a minute. Plus nine. I'm sorry. Uh, so 14 and 15. Still shit rolls. Still, still not close. Fair enough. Uh, 22. Uh, Babs, you're up. I will swing my hammer. Sure. Twice. Because I get two attacks. Sure. You can skip the lightning, obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to crit anyway. Uh, I don't have any control over the lightning, but um, that's an 18 and a 16. Uh, nope, you need 21 to hit this guy. I missed both times. Uh, next up's the 13, Celeste. Eldritch Celeste. Blast, because I'm a one-trick pony. So why not? Uh, that is... Oh, that's a 19 and a die, so that's a 20... Uh, uh, 27. That hits. All right, I would hope so. Uh, I by the way, I took the th I took uh, one of my what's it, invocations, whatever they're called. Uh, is he's now slowed uh, ten feet of movement, and I also took the one where I do more damage. Uh, D10, not D friggin' twenty. Here was my D10. Oh, that was friggin' shit. So that's six points of damage because that was a one on the D10. Nice. Uh, 11. But, yes. but just remember, he does move 10 feet slower. Oh, that's not going to be an issue at all. <laughs> <laughs> Biblet, you're up. Okay, I use my action and I pick my three party members and cast aid on them. And what it does is brings uh, hit points up to maximum uh, and you increase by five. So five temporary is what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> For the duration of, uh, okay. yeah, eight hours. <laughs> wow. Nice. Uh, Bubo, it's up to you. Oh, it's a new max. It's not temporary, right? Right. Okay. Then let me change that. Yeah. Your max hit points go up. Uh, go ahead, Bubo. Five. Did this Merid come down to the ground or is still flying up in the air? Oh, he's a gym, so he's still flying in the air. Still flying in the air. Um, I will... Um, oh. do, 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 <coughs> dance, a little dance. Beep, beep, pop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> I get to kill R2 D2 tonight. <laughs> yeah, I will uh, uh, go beep up <laughs> and uh, Babs grows. Uh, Eat it, Chuck! Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm gargantuan. <laughs> uh, I will owl it. <laughs> nice. Uh, Round two, uh, the djinn looks at his chances, holds tightly the blue gem, and smacks his hands together. Uh, electricity shoots out from everywhere. Uh, everything goes dark. And everybody roll constitution. Save. Uh... It's not going to be... Yeah, go ahead and do saves. It's not really going to oh. matter for me, but it may... Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Well, 19 then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm proficient in constitution saves. That's why I make a difference not for me. That's only an eight. <laughs> <A> two, uh, <laughs> and uh, Bibwit. 
Uh, 23. Uh, Bibwit, you blink your eyes and look around. Babs, you blink your eyes and look around. Bubo, Celeste, you are face down in a very soft, soft pillow. Bibwit, Babs, uh, Bibwit, you find yourself on a white, fluffy plane, blue skies hovering over you, and the air is fresh and clean. Babs, hmm. you look around, twice your size, and you see your diminutive friend face down in what appears to be a cloud. Looking around, the air is fresh and clean, and the skies are, eh, they're darkening. After a few minutes, Bubo, you blink, stand up. The clouds have given you a Santa beard and look <laughs> around and you see Babs. Celeste, you raise up, Santa beard, yeah. look around and you are on a cloud. The skies are darkening and the air is fresh. What the hell? Right. I don't think you guys are in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Can I make a, a, an Arcana check if we're on a different plane or something? Everybody do Arcana check. There's like that 20. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 20, 22. 24. All four of you know... You go to the edge. Wow. That is a lot of sky. I believe I'm on another plane of existence. Possibly <laughs> the elemental plane of air. <laughs> I look up. Do I, If I look in the distance, do I see any other like floating islands or anything, you know, made out of clouds and stuff? Like oh, yeah. That? Most certainly. Uh, you nice. also see dragons all four of you will see dragons large avian creatures and a myriad of things floating by above below same level you do not see your associates except for babs and bubo because you are on the same cloud now these are not tiny clouds these are larger clouds uh everybody roll perception check and we'll start with bibwit Four. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and not too perceptive this round. 11. Okay. 16. And Celeste. 11. Only Babs, the moronic uh, bugbear. Uh, no, this eye, is, bugbear. Uh, do you know what a quasar is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's what's coming at you, Babs. You and Shiny, Bo. pretty. Uh, it's Bubo, look pretty kind of, kind of descending, and then it kind of splits off into two and then splits off into four. Uh oh, two on Bubo, two no, on shit. Babs. Roll initiative, <laughs> boys. Star spawn, just them, just them. Five. Uh, ooh, with my ever-present advantage on initiative 12. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Should have seen the other die. <laughs> uh, whatever these things are appear to be going after you. So uh, are either one of you metal or wearing metal armor? <laughs> Me! <laughs> Oh get, no! <laughs> strangely, I get an advantage on you as tiny streams of lightning begin to crackle left and right. Oh no! <laughs> Can I see them at all? Nope. Oh. They are not even remotely in your area. Wow. You guys are fucked. Oh. Uh, once at home, before the game, I had to roll a d10. There were five different cloud areas that they could arrive at, but <laughs> and Bubo got a seven. So that is why they are together and the other two are not. 
Babs, uh, the two quasars, I will call them. Oh, shit, you split uh, the party. I did split the party on purpose. Uh, 12 and 11 plus 5. Does a 17 get you? I might drink. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. You, you, you know, when you don't mute, we can all hear you. We can hear you. <laughs> all you do is just mute it. I'm uh, playing with Frank tonight. I really need my drink. <laughs> on Bubo. Uh, 14 and a 7 add 5. 19? Yes! In my nice metal armor. Oh, plus 3 for your metal armor. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, 20, 22. That one. Will- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not too bad eh, that's not bad at all I don't think you're going to find this painful I've never felt so happy to have armorless defense in my life uh, three hit points of damage as the static electricity monster attacks you Bubo uh, uh, I assume electricity damage yes correct Damn. Okay. Uh, we will go with Babs okay um, there's two on me mm-hmm. I'll swing at each of them once Oh, that's a nat 20 also, and a 17, so uh, 28 and 25. 14 is all you need. So, yes, you battered up and hit them both. Okay, uh, let's resolve that uh, 14 one first there. That's 2d6 plus freaking 1 or plus one lightning and four, uh, okay, 2d6 plus four plus one. Um, that's not that great. Uh, seven plus one lightning, which I assume is probably going to do nothing to them at all Correct. on that one. And then the other one, I need two more six. Oh, I need to switch to the murder hobo dice. That's what's wrong. Uh-huh. That one will be um, 46 plus four. That's significantly better. That's 12, 15, 19, plus 4, 23 points of damage and one lightning. Disappears. Uh, Bibwit, Celeste. It's strangely quiet up here. It's oh, almost... and the crit would have dealt 10 more lightning. What would he do? Unless that heals it. No, does not heal But it would blow off. Damn. <laughs> probably, probably make it stronger. Uh, Celeste and Bibwit, it's, it's, it's very calm up here. It's very peaceful, except for Bibwit. There's some kind of dumbass creaking noise somewhere. Now on this cloud that you are on, it is not a flat and level surface. Uh, the clouds roll, uh, in, indicative of say rolling hills. If you were in the veil or right. forgotten realms, so you cannot you can denote where the noise is coming from, uh, but you can't see it. And it sounds creep, 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 foo. Creep, 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 foo. Uh, Celeste, uh, what was your perception? Oh, uh, right now? Yeah. I'm going to reroll it because I don't remember what it was from before. Oh, wait. No, I do. It's uh, no, you got to re- you, you re-roll. Reroll it. All right. Never mind. Uh, oh God, I wish I could keep that number because this is only like, God, I can't see shit. Uh, six. <laughs> yeah, you don't see shit then. Uh, oh. We'll go with Bibwit. Uh, I'm just going to lie. I remember I'm face down in the cloud. So I just well, kind you, of. You are now conscious and upright. Oh, I know. But still, no, no, it's comfortable. So I'm busy. You think just, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying any attention. I'm just, this is cool. Cool. Very nice. Bibwit, yeah. uh, you want to go near the uh, noise? Uh, yes, cautiously, but yes. <laughs> Give me a perception check. I'm going to miss the whole scenario just lying on this cloud. <laughs> 15 for perception. Uh, ahead of you in the clouds, you see this smallest shadow passing by, and then it kind of figure eights, and it is always just ahead of you. But it, it's not—it's not a very big shadow at all. Huh? Curious. Uh, 
Yeah, I continue to follow it. Cool. Uh, Celeste, mm. you could have sworn something just brushed past you. Oh. Are you by chance swimming and naked? <laughs> what? No. Oh, you. No, 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 no. Naked <laughs> swimmer at night. <laughs> I'm not. I'm laying on a freaking cloud, pillow cloud like this. My arms. You're, you're, pre you're pretty sure something just Ooh. touched you. Dude. I stand up and look. For Give me another perception roll. Maybe I shouldn't use this. To, I don't have good perception anyway, so that's only that's still only an eight. <laughs> good, I'll get surprised. <laughs> it's only a plus. I only have a plus one, so. Uh, Babs and Boobo. Babs, you managed to destroy one of them, so only one of them gets to attack you, and that is an eighteen plus what I say five. Yep, that's good. Do I get it. to attack at some point? Oh, my apologies. Yes, oh, Boobo, go ahead. I I totally forgot. All right. Well, that's a 47 to hit. Okay. Um, totally legit. That's not a number to I just yeah. made up. To 47. Totally legit. 47 to hit. 47 sure. to hit. Yep, yep. That one's a 57. Uh, <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you only need a 14 to hit these things. Oh, okay. Uh, it was 25 and uh, 20. Six, I think. Yeah, uh, these, these are not your BBGs right here. These are yeah, right. These are fodder. Uh, well, then I should use all my spells, then, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so a punch to each one. Uh, well, no, a punch to one of them. So 12, 16, 19 uh, thunder damage. Thunder? Thunder. thunder. On, on, on. Does it do oh, anything or no? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no. screwed this time. <laughs> That's the only damage I do. Uh, <laughs> what, a, what a dumbass. Ah, see the joy. Of did you DM know that this was going to happen, Frank? I did not. I, <laughs> I, I, I totally But you did said not. at the beginning, some of you are going to be gonna... really happy about this one, and some of you are not. Not. Well, That's I, assume, me. I assume as an owl you can fly. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think he meant you were going to be the happy one because you can fly. And we're all flipping. I can yeah. fly, but I can't damage anything in the helmet plane yeah. of air. Uh, oh, surprise! Yeah, and Babs <laughs> ten feet. Yeah, he gives a shit. Uh, Babs, you got hit. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, only for four damage, though. Cool. Uh, Boo -boo. That'll also make me rage, though. Uh, the 19 and a 9 on the roll, does a 14 get you? No. Okay, so just one attack to you. Uh, I did not realize that was going to happen. Dose hit points, Boobo. <laughs> Easy peasy. Uh, more, uh, more lightning, right? Uh, yes. Babs, you're up. Okay. I'll hit the one remaining with me and then hit one of the ones trying to get Boobo, I guess. <laughs> One, uh, one, one. <laughs> well, actually, it's a 15 and a 13. Um, the 13 is the second one. So I guess the 15 was the one that was on me still. I hit it, mm -hmm. and Bubo still has two on them. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It's his turn to attack next. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do all that. And that's all 14 points of damage, whatever that does. Uh, that kills it. Hey, yeah. Bubo, easy to kill. Bubo, you're up. <laughs> You. <laughs> I will use green flame blade. <laughs> nice. Uh, an 18 to hit. I'm yes. just going to ignore the uh, thunder damage from here on out. And I do seven fire damage to one. Uh, double that. You're on the ele elemental plane of fire. There's a lot of oxygen yeah. up here. <laughs> you mean plane Heck of yeah. air. Yeah. Air, sorry. Until you light a match. Oof. Uh, so 14 to the first one. However, and you're going to need to make a dex roll to get out of that. <laughs> uh, Babs, you're close. Make a dex roll. Oh, one. okay. You catch yourself. Zero. You catch yourself in the back backdraft. Uh, eight. Eight, uh, eight. And also ignite Babs' eyebrows. Uh, quarter, uh -huh. quarter damage from what you do. Okay, so I do 14 first, and that then kills the other it. one 
takes eight or sixteen damage. That kills it. And How I'm much really damage did to, you do to you guys? As a total, I In did total. 30, 30, 30. Oh, yeah, no, 30 exactly. 15 to each because two quarters is one half. Two quarters is one half. Well, 15. Oh. Uh, 30 total. Yeah. Eight quarter would be like seven. Damage. Seven. Yeah, it'd be seven or eight. Two attacks, though, right? One attack. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no. Seven. Round. I was wondering how you. Round you were, I'm resistant to fire worked. damage. Ha, ha, ha. Well, he, he had said. I yeah, did yeah, yeah, this yeah. much to this and this much to that. So, okay. That's you both, like, uh, both suffer seven hit points of damage, and while you are resistant, Babs, your eyebrows are not. No. <laughs> but does that mean I okay, well, it's not. There we go. Uh, over to yeah. Bibwit. Uh, that shadow seems to just circle around about yay big around. Uh, yay big around. Okay. Yeah, not very big at all. Hmm. And the, as you continue to move forward, uh, it, 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 poof. Gets louder. Gets louder. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I I keep trying to investigate the shadow and the noise heading towards it, but as my action precautionary, I am going to cast protection from energy on me, sure. and uh, the damage will be lightning. Okay. That's too bad. <laughs> that's too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's just too bad. Uh, something rises out of the clouds behind you. Luna, or Celeste, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, give me a perception check. Well, yeah, I just, I, I just looked well. at Luna's already dead. Yeah, I know. Well, you said very P. Luna. Oh, hey, there we go. 21 with a nat 20. Uh, there is a cloud coming up from behind you. Did it circle around? As I think, do I think that's what hit me? You know, or it could by? have. Yeah, it could have been. Hmm. And another another yeah. one rises. Oh shit! Uh, so Bibwit, give me initiative. Celeste, give me initiative. Any way to drive this cloud? <laughs> Twenty-two. Blow real hard one direction. 12. I actually, I can press to digitate. Puff of, a puff of wind is actually one of the things. So I wonder if I can go puff up, drive the cloud. Here on the elemental plane of air. That should work really well. 22 beats my 19. Uh, Bibwit, two dust methods rise behind you. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, they're behind Celeste. Two uh, dust methods flank you on either side and move towards you. Uh, uh Bonus action, spending a, um, a sorcery point. I twin uh, my cantrip uh, fire bolt at sure. them. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's going to be uh, two beams at this thing? Or no, it, the damage is just 2d10. Okay. Does a 19 hit them? Oh, yeah. 12. 12 hits these things. Easy okay. to hit. Everything's easy to hit on this plane. <laughs> they both take 17 points of damage. Well, they, damage. Take, they take twice that because it is the elemental plane of air, and I'm going to rule that fire is going to be increased. It causes them to blow up, but I'm going to need a deck save from you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, th this is the deck save for the fire. Then I need a constitution save from you. Okay. Uh, well, for the the deck save, uh, yeah, it's a um, yeah, it's a seven. But See, being a rabbit, but being a rabbit, folk, I can roll a d four and add that to it. Sure. Okay. You aren't you aren't going to be high enough though. So that that would put you at an eleven. Yeah. Yeah. And you four. Yeah. Good news, you take four fire damage and you now look like a monk because <laughs> the circle on the top of your head is now gone. Uh, but you do eliminate- Well, I got my hat. <laughs> Not anymore. That the top of the hat is now, now it's a stovepipe for Pipe, real. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Celeste, you're up. You have two dust methods coming up behind you. 
All right. Uh, what oh, the I'm hell? sorry. I... No, you do not. I got a 19. I am going to hit you. But will I hit you or will I do blinding breath? Hit. I'm going to try and melee attack you. A uh, five and a 13, 13 plus four, 17. So that's exactly what you needed. You get slashed by a claw for four hit points, and you are up as you spin around and notice two dust methods. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. The good news is the cloud shark's not around. What the hell? I'll do firebolt. I can't Goodbye. win it or anything, and I'll take it after. I'll go after one of them. Sure. It's not great to hit, but well, that's a seventeen. Yeah, that hits. So it's two d ten. There we go. Well, that was much better. So that's uh, so just 2d10. Yeah, uh, so that's 17 points of damage. So 34 will blow one of them up. Yeah. Now I need the deck save. <laughs> the and dex. I need your constitution save. save. Bimwit, did you give me your constitution save? No, I was just, just thinking about that. Um, okay. Deck save is a 22. You do not get burned. Uh, um, Constitution is a 22. You do not Jesus uh, get blinded. Okay. Well, oh, I must get blinded then because that was only a friggin' eight. Uh, yes. Uh, you are blinded for one minute. Minute. Uh, new round, Bibwit. Uh, you wipe the dust off you and you continue forward, I assume. I do. Well, while I'm walking, I take off my hat and I pull out the hat pin uh, and it's uh, the needle of mending and uh, cast mending on the hat and put it back on. Babs and Bubo, give me a perception check. Ted. Yep. Four. <laughs> wow. Don't see shit. Uh, Celeste, round two. Uh, I will attack you because you, you, you killed me. That's right, because you're blind. A uh, one and a four. Congratulations, Celeste. <laughs> I did wow! not you. That's amazing. Um, shit. I guess I can't see. I, mean, I know I roll at disadvantage. It's just whether or not. Hmm, because the firebolt is great, but it also could hurt me. Oh, what the hell? I'll try it. So it's what, disadvantage because I'm blinded? Yep. Come on. Yeah, that's going to miss because that's a friggin' five. That would have been a hit if it, if it wasn't a disadvantage. Fair enough. Uh, new round. Uh, Bibwit, Babs, Bubo, Perception. Oh. I do make the save, though. 11. Uh, 12. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Jesus Christ. It was a you bad guys, roll. You guys <laughs> suck. Uh, Celeste, the remaining dust method goes after you again. 15 added 2. So 15 plus, what did I say, 4? Yeah, I'll hit. 19, D4 plus two, bat, or Celeste take three whopping hit points. Okay. And it's your turn. Uh, you forgot to uh, roll. No, more. I did. I rolled a 17 on the die. I figured that plus my three so you would were be no 20. Longer blinded. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I made the deck save. Hold on, I make another save for the, for the blindness too? No, if, if you thought you had to make the deck save, don't worry about it. All right, because I you, Bubo and Bibwit all realize now, uh, fire is going to be kind of dicey, so you're going to be paying attention to how you cast it. But I'm blind. Yeah, I'm still blind. Oh, I'm not. Now, I, I, I'm giving anyway. the 17 to the con save, so you are no longer blinded. You've wiped the dust okay, out of your eyes. You okay, 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 okay. Cool. All right, so I will do it again. Wait, what a crappy tastic roll. That's only a nine. 
That's <laughs> not a disadvantage. Uh, perceptions, Biblet, uh, Babs, Fucking and hell. Biblet. 22, not the 20. Le- the less than killer bees. <laughs> 21, 19. <laughs> You know, I screwed uh, up in 22 my name this time. <laughs> I apparently uh, screwed up in how I named my character since everyone else here is there's a lot of bees in this group. Oh, <laughs> trust me, Carol, Damn you're it. a bee, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, want to be a bee name. I'm blessed. Uh, how about that? Uh, <laughs> so uh, that we Bib- can't be the killer bees. Bibwit, you rise to the top of this cloud hill and you mm-hmm. notice. A pair of gnomes with what appears to be a <laughs> silver catapult. Uh, I speak gnomish, so <laughs> I say, uh, I bid them hello. <laughs> uh, Babs, Bubo, the reason your roll was so high was because the Hawkmen have landed. Boop, 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 and encircled you. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> uh, Hawkman R 15. <laughs> so they're okay. Kind of a little guy. Fucking playmate. Uh, your initial course of action as Bibwit spoke with them and said hi, what do Babs and Boobo do? Boop, boop, boop. Hello, friends and brothers. Uh, back to uh... Celeste. Five. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is this is turning into a slap fight. All right, we'll try it again. Nat twenty. With Eldritch Pass, you double right, should should I bother doubling this? Rolling and doubling it? Uh they have seventeen. Well not Eldritch, not Eldritch Blast, sorry, Firebolt. So two D ten. I guess I should. Uh, roll damage. Uh, well, that's a that's already sixteen on the first. You know. Sure. There you go. Uh, you have destroyed the uh, sixteen. Method. Now yeah. give me your con save. Not twenty. Nice. Uh, you close your yeah. eyes tightly this time. Uh, As you blink them open, you look like a gray <laughs> raccoon. Ah. Uh, Give me press. a perception check, Celeste. Press to, uh, press to, uh, wow, nat 20. That's like three in a row. Holy crap, that makes all the shit rolls earlier. A bolt rolls. of lightning cuts straight through your cloud, missing you by oh, shit. four feet. That much. And on it rides an oriental man with a big Saipan hat. <laughs> Lands on the cloud, looks at you, and doffs the Saipan hat. What would you like to say? Well, hello. Uh, I didn't expect to find a friendly face here that wasn't one of the people I came with. You're already assuming he's friendly. That's that's precious. He doffed his hat. You said he tipped his hat, so. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that's going to be nice. Uh, up to Bibwit. Uh, My wisdom's not real high. The gnomes hail you back, but then return to one of them has a clipboard and he's scrolling out stuff on a clay tablet. The other one is reloading the basket end, and then the two each start pulling the crank. I look. Uh, do I see what they're firing at, or are they just firing in? just watching whatever they're shooting go. As you look over the side, you see tiny, like, flower bags with Mm -hmm. parachutes. Flower bags with parachutes? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, (laughs) These people are speaking my language, so I walk over there and uh, inquire uh, about their contraption and what they're doing. Ah, uh, have you never seen a trebuchet, friend? I, actually, no. No, I'm actually uh, quite intrigued. So, The individual reports that he is A276, and he goes on to a lengthy diatribe on what, the, what this item is. Uh, and give me a con check 
to see how long it takes for you to get bored shitless. <laughs> oh, just a con check. Okay. Yep. That's not a wisdom check. Uh, it, he's he, he's going to have to keep up his strength. Concentration. Uh, 15? Uh, you cut him off. Uh, that is very interesting. I thank him. Yeah, yes. It's just like, that uh, is very interesting. The other individual has reloaded and <laughs> claps. A276 stops. I look over and see how far it goes. <laughs> Strangely, you do. Uh, a cloud is kind of moving in that region, and it appears to have do, 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 uh, a blue tinged glass structure is seen atop this cloud. Uh, you can see a multitude of flying creatures of all shapes and sizes hovering over the battlements. Over to Babs and Bubo. Uh, the Hawkmen surround you. Um, what's up? We are looking for our friends. Friends. Uh, uh, a rabbit and, and a warlock still, thing? Still, is she still half twice elf. the height? No. If you want to know, it's a half elf. No, Recently got here? Tall. Or or a djinn who just came here from the plane of normal plane? Describe this djinn. A hardy man that looks a lot like Brian Blessed. <laughs> a hardy man or a hardy hawk? A uh, hardy yeah. hawk man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I uh, uh, describe the gin as well as possible. He's real pretty. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's Poindexter. Poindexter. Are you friends of his? And I make an insight check to see whether it would be good to be friends with him or not. <laughs> indeed. Babs apparently is friend thinks she's friends with him. <laughs> Babs wants to get busy with the Hawkman. No, I think Babs wants to get busy with the Jin. Bab wants to get busy with anything. Teeny <laughs> pretty. Seventeen. Uh, Brian Blessed is pretty coy about this, but you're thinking there's a reason. So if you had to make a guess, only a guess, because it was only a 17, probably not. He's the one who forcibly transferred us to this plane. Forcibly? Uh, yes. You know why, don't you? Uh, unfortunately, I do not. He He's was an destroying asshole. a town. <laughs> <laughs> He's that an would asshole. make sense. Babs here is always attracted to the assholes. Mm. Nice that, guys finish last in Babs' books. That Ooh, I can believe. Uh, are you looking to and deal with him, receiver. or what are you? Are you just looking for your friends? And then there was that murder. to find my friends, and then to either deal with him and force us him to take us home or if you may help I can we can help transport you to a destination give me an odd or an even roll we could go or an even roll it's odd we can take you someplace that may be able to assist you in both uh, we will have to grip both of you Babs, uh, three of them will have to grip her. Oh, I can uh, fly. Uh, you can't fly as fast as they can, can you? I can fly, I think, 30 feet. Yeah, and, and, uh, no. yeah no, no. 60 or 90. Uh, Voltan grabs you like the Heisman, tucks you under and says, ha, 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 <laughs> hang on, little one. And... <laughs> He's used to it. Gordon is alive. Babs, how much do you weigh? 
320 pounds. Three of them grip a hold of you and... <gasps> oh, Ooh. God. Four of them grip a hold of you and kind of drag you off the cloud and you <laughs> get <laughs> down a <laughs> uh, before kind of maintaining uh, you are dragging behind. You can see Bubo's little eyes woo, 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 as he gets a whiff of the old spice under Voltan's <laughs> armpit. Celeste, uh, the lightning guy, looks at you and goes, what are you doing here? I don't know. I was brought here. I didn't ask to be brought here. I was brought here, though. By who? Uh, some Jin. <sighs> he was down with us, and he... He was looking apparently for a blue gem or something, and he found Point it. Dexter has the blue gem, does he? Well, that does not bode well for the people where he was at. He what is, is a, he is an asshole. <laughs> what does he? What does he want with the gem? Uh, the gem is very powerful. It can persuade you, meek humanoids, quite easily. <laughs> I, however, am immune to it. As I am Rodrigo. Hello, Rodrigo. <laughs> Hello. I cannot roll oh, my R's, so otherwise I totally roll Rodrigo. my R's. I, I, I oh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. I love that name. Rodrigo. How many yeah. rolls do you want in that R? I can't roll my R's. I don't know well, why. What do you want to do, my dear? Uh, well, I have three others here, uh, but uh, I'd be willing to try. Your to... eyesight is shot. You have. You are alone here. I know. No, I mean, I assume the other three I was with. You are not I... lying to Rodrigo, are you? Of course not. <laughs> and my name is Celeste. <laughs> Hail and well met. Do you want to? I, I said if we could find the other three, we could help you. Perhaps. I cannot help you with your friends, but I know of a place that will help you shall i take you there that would be that would be wonderful he throws his arm around your waist yanks you forward you go face to face (sighs) he rolls his r turns and looks and it is a harlequin romance novel as the lightning bolt arcs its way through the clouds and the wind whisks back your hair oh my goodness i I so want to. I so want to paint your picture. You're so beautiful, and I, I give him a kiss on the cheek. He looks like uh, <laughs> who's the guy from all the Harlequin romances? Far- Fabio? Fabio. 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 Yeah, Fabio. Oh my God! Did you? Uh, no. You can't believe it's not butter. That's right. <laughs> Bibwit, uh, the gnomes uh, ask you what you're doing. Oh here. God. Uh, Bibwit, uh, I tell them I. Somehow got transported here by a gen, and I tell them. Never heard of. Mm. <laughs> what is what is that uh, structure uh, that's floating by? Uh, that structure is the Palace of Unseen Contemplation. It is a palace made of entirely of glass. You are familiar with what glass is, are you not? Uh, yes, indeed I am. It is the home of Princess Chan. Princess Chan. Ah. Um, she was banished here. Her first name is Four. Chan. No, oh, God! No. Did you really? I, oh I my promised God. the internet a lot of stupid shit. Oh, oh my oh, God. Man. You, you delivered. <laughs> wow. Frank. Oh, Lord. So, um, <laughs> Would you like to meet her? Uh, I, I can kind of see where this is going. I'm about to be a rabbit shot out of a trebuchet. Pretty much. Uh, A276 wants to know if uh, you want to go see her. Bib, Bib, what, do you really want to go yeah, meet 4chan? Cloud, yeah. I mean, come on. Who really wants to actually go to 4chan? George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's where you're going. You're going to see 4chan. I'm That's rather go scary. For, I'm going to see Princess Chan. So. <laughs> A276 A- smacks his hands. Uh, the other gnome looks up. He goes, Unload, we're putting him in here. This will help us with our technology. Do they give me a parachute? (laughs) 
B pound four, uh, that's just what his name is, uh, puts a parachute on you. Okay. All it's right. the size of what he's been putting on the flower bags. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm not not big or anything like that. So you're bigger Frank, than you a flower bag. The AI yeah, training. a little bigger than a flower bag. <laughs> uh, yeah. They beckon you to go ahead and sit in the trebuchet sling. Okay. I asked them, is this uh, like altitude released or do I have to pull a <laughs> pull a string? We've got you. Okay. Uh, B right. pound, B pound little four goggles, put it on. <laughs> does this? Uh, rent, rent, I'm sitting there. A276 <laughs> says, What do you think? And you look over and you see B pound four go. Mm. <laughs> Any last words? And he yanks it and <laughs> whew, off you go. Give me a D12 roll against I'm me. flying. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's awesome, man. You have never experienced such a cool feeling in your life. You hit nine. <laughs> Three. It looks like you're coming in good. Uh, <laughs> the avian life hovering over this place. Oh, no. You're at... Uh, who went to the? You went to the Palace of the Unseen Contemplation, right? Right, that's where I asked. Okay, shot so to. you're alone. That's right. So David, yep. uh, it looks like you're coming in well. You notice uh, there's a wyvern uh, who gets out of your way pretty quick and does not look happy about it. As you come in, uh, there is a moat uh, with crystal clear water. Uh, there's also a drawbridge. Do you want to try and land on the drawbridge or land probably safer in the moat? Uh, the chute's not <laughs> opening. <laughs> oh, yeah, it opened and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got a streamer. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it, it's floating. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, go for the moat. Give me a two-hit roll. Okay. Can the rabbit swan dive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. With a two, I'm going to use a luck point. <laughs> <laughs> and roll again. <laughs> and if you go chasing rabbits, remember not to fall. Tell them all hookah smoking caterpillar has given you the call. Okay. 17. This time. Uh, yeah, you land in the water. You're now soaking wet again, uh, um, but you're fine. A large storm giant with a pike stomps over to you, reaches down, grabs you by the ears, and yanks you up and sets you down on the gangplank. What are you doing? Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, I was lost. I was transported here. I spoke to gnomes on another cloud and they asked if I would care to meet the princess, Jan? The princess is too busy to just see random people or oh, rabbits. I understand. I'm here to seek her counsel on how to get back home. First, you must answer a riddle. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, and he's by himself, too. Babs and Boobo. <laughs> hua, hua, hua. Uh, Prince Voltan and the four winded hawkmen <laughs> dump you on the shores of this cloud. Uh, Boobo, you are placed down gently. Babs, not so much. Uh, they're going to have to take a short rest in order to regain their strength from hauling your fat bugbear ass all over the place. <laughs> Thanks, uh, guys. Tell Flash I said hi. <laughs> uh, Boobo and Babs, give me perception check. That's more like it. Uh, 17. Eight. Uh, Babs, 
you see a shadow on the cloud growing exponentially, and then a giant rock lands right behind Bubo. Oh. Celeste, give me a perception check. Uh, uh, 12. Uh, you, while you're streamlining along with uh, Stud Rodrigo, uh, notice uh, the presence of Hawkman depositing a very large furry female associate of yours on the shores. Look, I, I actually point out to Rodrigo, look, look, right there. That's one of my companions. Rodrigo sees all, my dear. And he looks down. Are you showing any cleavage? <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm a warlock. Get charisma's my thing, so why not? Okay. The wind batters your robe around, and Rodrigo says, all. Oh. I see all. And he deposits you on the shore. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. No, 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 no. Before Greg goes, hey, wait, can I, any chance I could see you later? Wow. <laughs> you know what? D12, dice give us, dice taking the way. I'd Eight. love to paint your portrait. Come on, damn it. Like your French girls. That, that's what she's calling Oh, it, huh? damn it. That's a five. Rodrigo has another pressing engagement. Oh, bummer. I am sorry, but perhaps in the future we shall meet again. And whoop, uh, takes off on his lightning rod. Uh, you're only a few yards away from Bubo and Babs. Give me a perception check. Girl, I should have ignored that. I should have totally ignored the fact that they were here. <laughs> just went off with them. Uh, at 20. Uh, yeah, you see the rock too. Oh, shit. I definitely should have ignored these two and gone off with him. Yeah, you are uh, at the location known as the Eagle's Hold, named for the shape of this blue uh, tinged glass structure. Uh, it is uh, the home of Zintar, god of flight. Hence, all the flying creatures above, including probably the fifth element. Uh, now comes the important role. Odd, Bibwit, gets a single riddle. Even the other three get the single riddle. 19. Bibwit, you get the single riddle. Uh, the rock descends and approaches Babs, Bubo, and Celeste and barks out in a strange dialect. What are you doing here? Hi, birdie. We're Me. looking for pretty genie man. We were brought here. Uh, we didn't ask to come here, but we were brought here by a uh, jinn named Poindexter. Possibly. Poindexter. I thought I saw you with Rodrigo. I did because I ended up somewhere else and he's the one that brought me here. The rock looks at you and says, my name is Lobster. Rock. Oh my Lobster. Okay. Rock lobster. <laughs> Back over to Bibwit. Uh, the yes. storm giant has no time for dilly dallying and says you will have to answer a single riddle in order to gain entry. Are okay. you prepared to answer this riddle? Hmm. I can post myself and say, take my hat in my hand. Yes. <laughs> Here is the thing. You, I'm going to tell you the riddle and you will be allowed to guess at it, or you can roll an intelligence check if you okay. don't feel confident in your answer. Okay? I'll Are roll you... the intelligence check. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Well, let's, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I am the black child of a white father, a wingless bird, flying even to the clouds of heaven. I give birth to tears of mourning in pupils that meet me even though there is no cause for grief. And at once, on my birth, I am dissolved into the air. What am I? Oh, he's freaking out because he knows what it is. I've gotten a clue. <laughs> it threw me off. These are, these are all fifth grade riddles, by the way. <laughs> I really never paid much to riddles as a kid. So oh, intelligence roll it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I can't, I can't counsel them. I'm on my own. No, that's that's fine. So straight up intelligence roll. Yep. Or do just I just a roll, check? 
Just to check. Okay. Yep. All righty. To be clear, Babs knows nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I kind of want to hear the riddle again. Jeez. Okay. 17. Uh, Babs, you're, Babs, I'll re reread it and then you can answer it if you want. I have the I'm black interested. I am the black child of a white father, a wingless bird flying even to the clouds of heaven. I give birth to tears of mourning in pupils that meet me, even though there is no cause for grief. And at once on my birth, I am dissolved into air. What am I? Babs, do you know what it is? Eclipse. Wrong. Smoke. Smoke. Oh, okay. okay. The 17 is good enough, Bibwit. You are allowed to enter the Palace of Unseen Contemplation, where you will meet with Princess Chan, Babs, Bubo, Celeste, Rock Lobster. Has riddles three since there oh, are three no. of you. God. Oh, good. I cast Shatter on the Rock Lobster and watch him fall to pieces instead. Oh yeah, he's a uh, challenge oh. seven. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, rocks. Did you go to the Moss Pants School of Combat or what? Yeah. Uh, each one of you will be allowed uh, to um, hear the riddle for you. Uh, then you will make a wisdom check. Oh, and there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Uh, who wants the first riddle? I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I'm uh, not sure the riddles. Celeste, the giant bird, looks at you and says, why do birds fly south in the fall? Oh, this is going to be a stupid answer to this. <laughs> Shit. I don't. I'm going to kick myself when I hear the answer, I'm sure. This is not one I've ever heard, though. Are you going to make a wisdom save? Yep. Oh, yeah. Probably not going to. Save. Well, yeah, I'm not going to make it. Save or check? Check. Yeah, that definitely would make a difference. Uh, yeah, that's only a nine. Oh, why do birds fly? The rock looks at Other you than and says, because it's too far to walk, you're stupid. You suffer <laughs> five, five psychic damage. Oh. Who is next? Babs or Boobo? Boop, boop, boop. I'll take it. Boop, boop. Uh, Boobo, what do you get if you cross a parrot with a shark? Oh, God. What, did, what terrible riddle book did you get these from? Uh, fifth grade riddles, man. Remember the I, Dixie sure. Cups with the rhymes on them? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Not you. These are fifth grade riddles. So, well, Bubo, I'm not a fifth grader, so I wouldn't know. How, how do you... What do you Dinner? Get? I am not smarter than fifth grade. Is that your answer, or are you rolling? I'll roll. <sighs> Shit. I know it's gonna be it's gonna be uh... nine hit points of damage, as he says, a bird that will talk your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at perhaps the dumbest member of the group, what? Be the get one. It. He's yeah, Babs will get it. Babs, Babs is totally gonna get it. The giant rock says, "What do you call two birds in love?" Fifth grade riddles, man. <laughs> like stupid. These aren't these aren't what I expected either. Parrots. Is that your answer or you're gonna roll? Love birds. No, I don't think that's the answer. Eight damage psychic. You call them tweethearts. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, These hilarious. are just bad jokes. These aren't like 
this is not like real zebra. This isn't like the Hobbit. You no, know? Yeah, they are a ghost type or uh, hold, hold, hold on, do I look like fucking Tolkien? And does this show look like it makes millions of dollars? <laughs> exactly. uh, each of you are allowed entry into the palace uh, slash eagles hold where you will meet uh, uh, Zintar, uh, the guide of flight for Babs, Bubo, and Celeste. Uh, Bill, uh, Bibwit, sorry. Uh, you right. get to meet Boop Princess <laughs> Rabbit. Bilbo. Uh, I'm sorry. Bilbo. I couldn't hear you. Uh, you get to speak with Princess Chan. What do you want to ask her? Uh, being a, a courtier, <laughs> that's what I am. Uh, I bow respectively to the princess. And I say, Princess, I requested an uh, audience uh, with you to perhaps proceed <laughs> um, to seek counsel. Uh, myself and my friends are trying to find a way back to the material plane. How did you get here? <sighs> Against our will, we were brought here by a djinn. What is this djinn's name? I do not know. He had a really bad disposition. Don't they all? <laughs> True. <laughs> is there more than one powerful djinn? This is the elemental plane of air, my friend. The this djinn one was ex here. This one this one was extremely strong and not friendly at all. <laughs> Seemed to be looking for something and found a blue gem. Blue gem. Mm -hmm. Oh, Poindexter. Huh. Babs wants to make him her love toy. Then yes, it was Poindexter that, that brought us here. His tower is not too far away from here. Since he brought you here, I think he should make the determination if you get to go back or not. Oh, so shit. fly, fly away, and go talk to him. Okay, I thank you, I thank you, Princess, and I give a courteous bow. Uh, is there a particular way to garner flight to his palace? I am a but a rabbit. Uh, other than magical means, I cannot cannot fly. How did you get to my palace? Some kind of. Oh, <laughs> the gnomes, actually. Ugh, I hate the gnomes. They throw their crap on my lawn. So you need a ride. Uh, yes, princess. I'd, re I'd request a, a ride, if it is possible. If not, I uh, might be able to procure my own, but I doubt it. Send me Steve. I see. Uh, Babs, Bubo, and Celeste, uh, you are in the home of Zintar, a beautiful palace filled with gold and silver fluted pillars, uh, expensive looking rugs abound. Uh, it has a second floor, a third floor, a fourth floor. It looks like you're in the Luxor in Vegas. The floors just keep getting higher and higher and clothes higher and higher. Uh, two Aarakocra approach, stand smartly at attention. His Highness will see you now. Thank you. Donata, they're Spanish. And I walk <laughs> in right along with Rodrigo. A, He's Asian. Rodrigo's not here. He ditched your ass. He felt you up and ditched your ass. He is a shitty boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> You Every in. NPC of yours is. Uh, David, how did the, did the gnomes treat you well? Yeah, actually, they did. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself, Carol. <laughs> you said, boy, you Last said I boyfriend. The gnomes copped a feel and then launched him out of a catapult. So you yeah. tell me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, sorry. No. no. Roll and, to see, uh, see if Bibwit liked it. <laughs> yeah, uh, a Roman esque individual, maybe a young Titan lounges in a stone chair, one leg high, 
uh, and a, just a giant jewel chalice, and he's just drinking, <laughs> but half of it is pouring down his stained tunic. He kind of looks like Jim Belushi as a Roman. Wish nice. I had, nice. Wish I had time That's to actually man. like paint, paint him. Paint How him. big is this guy? He's a adolescent Titan, so 21 feet. I will actually start sketching things out. I'm well, gonna... As he notices you sketching things out, he pulls the Sharon Stone. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. You uh, you will be able to remember what you just saw for a very long time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Wow. Good. Good. I'm not now complaining. I know Stone. why everybody rave about Titan. He's probably a very big man, so you know. Well, he's 21 feet. I'm not saying it's symmetrical, but you know, still 21 probably feet will, tall. Probably so. wouldn't I'm gonna work very well. Open my bag of holding, pull out my beer, bar barrel of dwarven whiskey, and take a really nice deep drink. Okay. Who wants to do the talking with uh, Zintar? I mean, I guess I can. I know I'm the good Better. talker. Okay. I got, I got charisma. You. Um, ha, good, good. Uh, I don't know what time of the day it is. Good day, uh, your highness. Elemental plate of uh, air. Who cares? That's true. <laughs> good day, your highness. Uh, me and my friends were brought here. Blah, by blah, 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 blah. Blah. What do you want? What do you want? I am busy. To go home. That's what we want. But I also hear that maybe. Uh, I also hear that uh, maybe there's something up with uh, your Jin uh, point, de point Dexter. Blah, 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 blah. Point Dexter. Point Dexter. And uh, he had some sort of a blue gem. So perhaps you might be. Ah, to know. He, this, I told him not to do this. Okay, so what do you want? You want the blue gem back? I feel like every, everyone's reacting badly around here to him having this blue gem. So if it would be helpful, yes, we could have it take it back. Flowers would be nice. <laughs> what? Is she okay? <laughs> I think she's drunk. Okay. Well, yes, you have my permission. Go deal with him. He's in his tower. What uh, is there where anything? Is that? Yeah, where is we need to know where is that and how do we get back home? Do you have a way? Once you <laughs> <laughs> once you once you deal with him, you will see the vortex and you can fly into it and go home. Okay, that was helpful. Thank you very much. Let's just be off. Nada. I'm also Spanish. Say nada. <laughs> <laughs> and he whoa, whoa, crosses his legs again. Do you? Do you? How are you? Do you can you can you fly? Can you fly? Well, Bubo can. <laughs> but I don't think Bubo can carry Babs. Uh, uh, great. Uh, uh, ah, you uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can Bubo even carry? Screech! 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 Somebody get Screech! Oh, uh, remember sad. the Bugs Bunny cartoon with the thing, the orange thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That thing comes Monster. out. Yeah, oh, that thing comes gotcha. out from an archway, looks at you, looks strangely owlish, and looks at Odd Even. Even looks at Celeste and goes, "Chirp." <laughs> Hi. Reaches over with its big meaty claws oh. paw, and grabs a hold of you. Reaches over with its other claw and grabs Babs and these little tiny wings. Oh my flat, God. Flat, 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 flat. Uh, Bubo, you're going to be able to outdistance this humongous thing. Yeah. Uh, Bibble, <laughs> uh, the princess. Uh, Calls Here for, we go again. Uh, and Steve arrives, uh, and underneath Steve's arm is a carpeted runner. Uh, it's about 12 feet long, but it's only about three feet wide. Uh, throws it, <coughs> throws it out, 
it's decorated like one of those things where you put toy cars on. <laughs> you know, you've got the roadway. Yeah. And, and oh, all yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Steve says, get on. Oh, okay. Um, you're talking to me, right? Yes. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. I got confused with Carol and him. Okay. Uh, yes. So I get Hang off. on. Okay. <laughs> Dex check as he takes off like a shy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dex. Uh, 23. You hang on, uh, but your hair is flowing in the wind, but you are not <laughs> goose. Uh, and you speed towards this tower surrounded by clouds. Give me a perception check. Uh, not bad. 24. Something <laughs> is off to your right and seems to be shadowing you. Uh, Babs, Bubo, Celeste, perception check. As you head to this tower surrounded by clouds. 16. 17. 21. Uh, Bubo, you notice that I, I, you aren't really sure what it is, but you see Bibwit on it. Uh, and it's being piloted by what appears to be an aerococker named Steve. Uh, you guys land almost simultaneously. Uh, Babs, Celeste, you arrive about five minutes later and are deposited unceremoniously uh. on the cloud bank uh, <laughs> as it lands. The monster looks at Steve, chirp. Hey, monster. Uh, anybody speak celestial? Me. Okay. Uh, you can tell that neither one of these two individuals really gives two shits for any of the four of you. Uh, but Steve is going to go ahead and hang out here uh, once you guys deal with uh, Poindexter. Because uh, you're, he's been ordered to take you into uh, the gate. Okay. Let's go find this point, Dexter. Going and across the, the drawbridge into the tower? Sure. I'll fly across. No guards. None whatsoever. Okay, so we just keep going until we find point Dexter. You go into the main section of this 60-foot yeah, wide tower. It is wide open. Uh, it has 20-foot high ceilings. Uh, really cool carved mosaics uh, hold up the floor. And at the far end, there is a throne. Uh, and on it sits the individual holding the blue gem. Oh, my precious. <laughs> you recognize him as the individual who was down below. Oh, hell, Point Dexter. Uh, hello. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, from what, from, well, first of all, we want to go home. But secondly, we have also been told that you having that gem might not be a good idea by, by your superiors here. Uh, my house, my rules. I have no superiors here, so... <laughs> he holds the blue gem aloft. Two demonic flying creatures swoop in, steal it, and go up through a chute in the ceiling. The gin rises with the whirlwind starting to move. Be nicer to me, or I shall shat you out of my tower. I think you're pretty. I don't think we're being mean to you. I think you came down and you, I don't know, you caused all, I don't know if he caused actual, he didn't cause any destruction in town, right? It was just water. Those fish are dead. <gasps> <laughs> he killed a couple of fish. He oh, fed no. a whole town full of people. That's what I'm Yeah, doing. exactly. Yeah. It's seafood, and he's man. Pretty. 
I think Babs here would actually like to be very nice to you if you'd let her. Uh, Babs will reach up and like try and straighten her hair out and give him her winningest smile. Persuade me, Babs, while I look up what he's going to do. I just rolled a natural 20. I have no adjustment whatsoever. (laughs) It's that big green die. It either rolls high or low. Oh, please. Let, oh, come on. Please that is too this, funny. Let this go. Uh, she'll she'll even high. shrug her crossbow off her shoulder and kind of let it fall to her side. And show off her boobs. Well, clearly. Uh, There's no denying her boobs. Poindexter <laughs> is duly impressed. Um, that's disturbing. Have you ever had rage? That's disturbing. <laughs> Can we like can we like trade you know, her for the chat? Uh Point Dexter el- eliminates the whirlwind <laughs> below him. He just appears as a large humanoid creature, but then clouds appear underneath his feet and he whoop go on. <laughs> Who's he looking at, Babs? Babs. Babs, right? Yep. Babs wants to take a really deep sniff and see what he smells like. He smells like wine because his charisma is a 20. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm like I like wow. actually we'll take oh. This is where it goes south. <laughs> this is gonna have me and Babs are gonna fight over him. I see how this the, is the the bugbear barbarian charms the shit out of the gin. <laughs> quick roll in the hay. Wow. So yeah. So, so bad. I'd like to cast guidance on Babs and uh... <laughs> I'm gonna need another beer, please. <laughs> hey, wisdom is not my dump stat. Oh. Yeah, that, that one's gonna need a beer. Okay, how bad is this gonna go there, Babs? As bad oh. as that genie wants it to be, Babs is a hopeless romantic, and she just got response to her lust. Uh, uh, the gin are lusty creatures. So. I know. Mm. If we have can't fault gem, him for his kink. Like He's to, into furries. Uh, uh, give uh, Babs a yeah, no kink shaming for love. Pair of goblets that uh, Bubo has, and uh, you remember that one magic item I got to choose. I would like to pour the filter of love into both of these <laughs> wine glasses and then hand one to each of them. <laughs> What's the save on the filter of love? Oh, uh, no. You pull it up here real quick. <laughs> oh, no. It's only fair. I'll use the same <laughs> guy. <laughs> there is no save. After you drink it, you become entirely charmed by the other creature for one hour. <laughs> Seems like enough time. Uh, D12. Let's see if I drink it. Well, Marvin Gaye starts playing in the background. D12s are the 12 ones. Nine. Hi. Reroll. Oh, my God. Seven. Six. Yes! <laughs> I, I will drink the filter of love. Does Babs drink the filter of love? <laughs> already drank of it. She has, uh, it's already gone. So, like, so me intertwining our arms to drink this. Do nothing. No, I have already refilled it from the bottle I took out of my bag of holding. Wow. Uh, their animal-esque lust takes over oh, and they good. rip off each other's clothes and just drop right there on the mosaic floor. So that's like two strings for me. Yeah. Bib- Bibwit, Bubo, <laughs> Celeste. Give me I'm a walking in on this. Roll like, oh. To see if this uh, is a problem for you guys. I mean, I'd saying. like to make that more of a... 17. That's only, 23. That's only a 10. Uh, Celeste, some... you feel a pit in your stomach growing as this lusty duo do things that you never thought you'd I... experience on a murder hobo. No, 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 no. I turn, I turn and don't watch. I, I would, I would watch. 
Actually, yeah. actually, smell I is to, egregious. <laughs> I, go to, I go to Bubo and like, should we actually go after the gem? I actually mm -hmm. cast minor illusion and cast like a pink love cloud over them. <laughs> Whoa, even more pretty. Actually, bugbears don't smell bad at all. They don't smell at all. Part of their stealth charm. It's just press. like, oh my god, what did I walk in on? <laughs> I make it do press. I've been feeling uh, right, baby. After an hour of, uh, I don't know, satanic lovemaking, I'm not sure how to describe uh, uh, it. Can we I, interrupt them for a second and be like, oh. Oh no! We just no, need that gem no, 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 no. quick second. No, no, no. Now that potion is just going ape shit on them. They are <laughs> you like, got the bad guy distracted. What do you guys want? There is there is no fire hose available in the tower to break the embrace that these two have each other. Definitely it almost has no looks like on. WWF wrestling. They are just. Ah! <laughs> this is angry love. Glue <laughs> At one point, on. there's a head drop, and dude, uh, somebody go through his clothes. The gem the, the, went the, up. They, they took him on. Uh, the gem's gone. I don't know. Did I see that? Did I see the two winged creatures yeah. take it up? Oh yeah, everybody oh. saw that. Okay. Is there anything in his clothes? Oh yeah. Let's gold, go through them. Gold gems. Potion of flying. Good chaka. Good chaka. It's just. I mean, hey, if I'm going to distract a genie for an hour, I'm going to have to make a few constitution <laughs> checks. But, you, know. you got guidance for at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I just. I am disturbed. Start looking around. <laughs> Do we? Uh, we there's a lot of expensive shit in here. Uh, kind of need a gem. Well, we don't need it. it you aren't going to find that blue gem. That thing's... And there's uh, obviously no stairs here because... We don't even know what that blue gem does. I mean, Bubo's the only one that can fly. Yeah, that's why I was like, can Bubo carry one of us? I can Bubo actually... Fit, I, I can actually take care of two of us for flying. Now you sound like go. Babs. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't want to fly up and see if we can get it from the... Let's... I, all right, so go ahead and do it because I don't have a fly spell. Okay, okay. So it's just uh, Bibwit and Celeste that need to be able to fly at yeah. this point. Yeah. Okay, twinning polymorph. I turn us both into giant owls. So yeah, yeah, it's the owl trio. Nice, very nice. Uh, as you fly up into this orifice in the ceiling, uh, it's duct work. So, John McLean, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, three, four. Three, four? I think one. so. I don't know. Uh, do y'all agree? <laughs> so, are you, are you leading the group? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Go for it. Okay, yeah, so I go through three, four. Perception check. Okay. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, these these screams of passion can still it echoes. <laughs> We're just like, the oh. highest cloud. Uh, <laughs> uh, 24 for perception. There's breathing ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, if the others are near me or whatever and can hear me i call their attention to that i hear something breathing in an owl in, in owl we will all understand it yeah hoot, 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 hoot. 12 licks 12 licks boop, boop, yeah boop. uh <laughs> as the vent system goes around you pop yourself up into some kind of chamber upstairs uh give me a survival check to see if you know how high you've gone Just, um, just yeah, him uh, or all of us? Just him. Uh, 12. No clue how much you've risen, but as you rise up, you are in a torchlit chamber, and there is a really big blue dragon lounging here. Uh, turn around. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good thing we're owls because we're quiet, and so... Actually, he's he's going <laughs> first, so he would have seen it, and then yeah, we just stealthily. Follow. 
I will try to turn around and head on up. Babs, give me a D12. Bing, bing, bing. Um, five. Eleven. Uh, a crescendo of noise is heard. Everybody give me a wisdom check. Not Babs. Central yeah. 20. No clue. Uh, 19. While not proficient in bugbear speech, Boobo and Bibwit kind of sounds like Babs has reached the pinnacle of success. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I regurgitate a mouse that I had eaten earlier. <laughs> a pellet. <laughs> <laughs> mouse pellet. Uh, so does Babs. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, return to the main area? Uh, I want to get away from that. Those other vent systems. We'll, yeah. we'll try another vent system. Yeah, we're going to try it. We're going we to see if we can find this. Sure. Left or right? Uh, One, left. two, or five, six? Left. So whatever is left. You are in the owlery. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the giant owlery. Shit. Oh. Okay. Good way. D12 against me. Okay. We don't see it. no no demonic owls, right? <laughs> Nine. Ten. Uh, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, 23. The eyes on the owl narrow of the great horned one, and you can tell, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this ain't our apartment, <laughs> right? Right, uh, and um, uh, yeah, I mean. I mean, am I inferring anything besides, hey, you're, you're about a, to get your ass handed to you. Get the fuck out. Let's I go do. I turn way. around. <laughs> turn around and head on out. <laughs> don't I have, don't have uh, a time. This isn't the Tootsie Roll room. Yes. <laughs> Give me a perception check, Bibwit. Okay. Um, uh, 16. They're in pursuit. Oh, okay. Heading out, so this becomes a, a chase, I guess. Web and the duck behind us. Sure. To uh, slow them down and hopefully catch them up. Good plan. At 20, number two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they a good are plan. Hot, hot on his trail. They're in g g g hot pursuit. Uh, do you want to take the right lane or go back down? The right. Right. Yeah, we're flying through canyons at this point. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if the giant owls chase or go Come down. Come on, David. Uh, 11. Yes. Eight. They go down. Okay. Uh, perception check all three of you. Uh, that was better. 13. Uh, terrible for, for Bibwit this time. 10. 17. Ah, uh, Bubo, you can hear the djinn screaming. Where is my audience? Did they not see me pleasure this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's as, just... as you go to the right, the tunnel splits oh, God, God. left and up. Uh, Let's see. Um, well, you're at the uh, back of the pack now. Yeah, yeah, I think so. We'll so, let him go first. We'll, we'll give go him. Left. You guys are in duct work. There's not a yeah. lot of room. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. Um, oh, who's last? Oh, Bubo's last? Was Bubo last? I he? suppose. Yeah, right, I Bubo's suppose. First I mean, now. I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah. I will uh, fly to the left. Fair enough. To the, left, uh, to the, left. the wind begins to buffet a great deal. Continue. 
We'll go back and try up. You go up and it curly cues and you are now at the top of the tower. Give me a perception check. All of us? Yep. 19. Eight. Uh, 19. Bibwit and Bubo, you see the gate home. But each of you are looking in different directions. Bubo, you see a rainbow bridge crossing a void into a lighted tunnel. Bibwit, you see a water spout, a kind of a sideways cyclone that goes into a great void. Uh... One of these has to be the way home. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the waterway. Was we the were way told to jump in a cyclone. I would yes. think it's the waterway. Yeah, but the, you don't have the gem yet. A s- arcana check to identify the bridges. Sure. Ah, shit. <laughs> That Not a is... clue. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to use a lock point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, Arcana. 11. Uh, better, 22. I add four to his roll because as an artificer, I can do that. Sure. Uh, Babs, give me a constitution check. Oh, no. Uh, 24. Okay. 22, right. sorry, 18 and 4. You're going to survive the encounter. Uh, Bimblet, <laughs> you notice small vehicular traffic on this rainbow bridge. Bimblet notices it? Or, uh, am I able small, like, small, like, craft, or, like, Vehicular, it like, like it looks like boxes are moving about quickly. Each box is piloted by a different creature. Okay, this is odd. <laughs> Everything odd it, on the plane uh, development. I know, I know. I call attention to that, but I also bring up the fact that we left Babs. <laughs> and, and and your conveyance. Yeah. You know, I'm sure gem. she will be happy here for all time. <laughs> <laughs> and a blue gem. Something about a blue gem. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need that gem to get back home? Ooh. Nobody told you you Ooh. needed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none, none of the council that we ever received mentioned anything about that. They just mentioned Vortex home. Yeah. And the uh, monster and Aarakocra discussed it, and the Aarakocra and the magic runner is waiting for you. Is the the rainbow bridge the magic runner that he was talking about? Or no, you I don't flew know. It, you flew in on a magic runner, a carpet. Oh, okay. okay. I think it means that we shouldn't just be able to do this ourselves and Something was supposed to bring us here. Only one of you can fly. Ergo, only one of you can escape uh, unless you use Three of us can fly right now. They're giant uh, owls. Mm-hmm. Well, that's true. For another hour. You know, so. it is It is about 10, so screwing over a party could... member would be absolutely perfect right now. What do you that's mean true. screwing over? Babs is perfectly happy. I think... <laughs> it's true. What do you guys want to do? Uh... Do we want to go long so that Kyle can make fun of Frank? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I love it. I love it. Let's go oh, down and we dyke. go left and then we continue through the tumultuous air. I want okay. to do that. That um, means we're going long. It, it, okay. I mean, if that's, is that the plan, or Frank? Or we can go <laughs> down. Put or some Frank did just say, bad. well, they failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I don't I, like I'll follow I follow Bubo's lead. <laughs> yeah, we'll go up the other way. Be okay. It'll be fine, Frank. Where the buffeting air was. Yes. Mm-hmm. That 
is a storm elemental. Oh no! We uh, never I, found. I mind. We have no idea then where those. Not a clue. Well, they flew this way. I mean, where the hell did they go? Yes, it, it looks like the Omega Thirteen is in this room from Galaxy Quest. <laughs> I'm trying to remember exactly what that was. It looked like DNA that moved oh, okay. and caused electrical. It looks like brain synapses. Got it. Got it. Do we really want to engage this? Nope. 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 <laughs> sure. You want to run over? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to engage this. Hold on. Let me. I, I, I think we can still God end on time. Yeah. I think. I think. Oh, let's will heal be, it. <laughs> I think. I think Babs will really be happy here. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's. Yeah. We. Uh, we go back to visit Babs. Make sure everything's going okay. I pull out an alchemy jug. I pour oil over that whole situation. Wow. And then we leave. <laughs> Maybe he'll give us the gem for Babs. Uh, round two it is. He's ready to go, and Babs made her constitution check, so... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> they are kidding. in heat. Babs oh, breaks yeah. out six bottles of wine she has in her bag of holding and uh, <laughs> offers them up. They're from the Feywild. Uh, yeah. Do you guys want to ride the carpet or just fly out like owls? We'll fly um, out like owls. Let's uh, let's rob the guy and fly on the carpet. Yeah, but the okay. gem and, uh, is the thing I wanted was the gem, and it's gone. There's lots of other gems. A thousand yeah. gold pieces worth of gems. Yes. Okay, I think we're uh, good. <laughs> fine. Cool. We'll quick, take it. Go. Uh, I will also cast enhance ability on Babs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I cast aid <laughs> on Babs to get a shoot her to her hit points up. I cast it at second level, so her hit point maximum just jumped 10. <laughs> wow, I have 103 hit points now? Far Bab out. Babs has been whored out by the party. <laughs> uh, okay, are you flying to the Rainbow Bridge or flying to the Cyclone? I feel like we should fly to the Cyclone. I do too. I do too, yes. I uh, ask the Aarakocra on the runner which one will take us to the material plane. Beep, 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 beep. The vortex. Insight check. <laughs> like, is he just an idiot or what? 19 on the die. <laughs> That seems to jive with everything else you've been told. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I think that's right. Okay. okay. The Rainbow Bridge is just a bunch of racers. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. She's <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> You, you don't want to get. You guys don't want to get hit by green shells. <laughs> no. The internet was promised pop culture, and I delivered. You got it. <laughs> you guys Definitely. fly into the vortex. Well, not Babs, and you appear right on the shoreline. Uh, the lake has gotten its water back, and everything's fine. And they're having a fish fry. Okay. Yeah. Fish and yeah. chips. <laughs> Babs, I will not even begin to describe the debauchery <laughs> that occurred to you. That will keep fantastic. us all awake at night. Uh, I think, I think everybody came out a winner on this. I think, I think so, yeah. we did. We got a thousand in gems, and uh, you know what? Babs I got a boy toy. Didn't ask Babs time. how many licks it takes to get to the center. <laughs> well, Babs, uh, no lick and toe. You have to stay and watch. <laughs> Final thoughts. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you could hear our producer right now. She's just recoiling. It's like, uh... Final thoughts. Carol, what do you think? Confusing. I Like, where the hell happened to the gym? Actually, he wanted it. It was yeah. a uh, it was a red herring. 
Oh, so he still had it somewhere down there? It, oh, it, yeah. was, it was just a gem. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> underneath a giant dragon. Yeah, I, I thought, wasn't going to go for oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, no, not worth it. Uh, although it would have been fun to kind of, I think it would have been fun to fight it fight the dragon. I'm pretty would've sure you would have been great would've... to fight a dragon that's probably immune to thunder damage <laughs> as is everything else on this stupid fucking plane. Exactly. Like, you're totally not great on this plane either. Probably not immune to Eldritch Blast or Firebolt. So. I'm glad you're good with hit points. Oh. <laughs> Big fun. Want to see that wand of fireballs work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. well, and, and, you know, your main meat shield there is... Uh, Knocking boots with the bad guy. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm sure There's you and Dave have to this distract one handle. a bad guy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So they're fighting the other bad guy. <laughs> no, I liked it. This is this was an interesting. She's wrestling another dragon. <laughs> so I Big should. Snake. Hey, wait! I got a question for Frank. Did you see it going that way at all? The sex part? No, not a clue. <laughs> not, not the least. Yes, I picked the right magic item then. Yeah, I you had... did. That was that was. Oh my Dice god! Dice Dice take of the one. So, That's amazing. Um, that I, I, I don't mind that that was a creative solution, <laughs> but yeah, the, the blue gem was uh, a distraction. And had you checked out the blue dragon horde, you would have found a blue gem. But when you gave it a tug, you would have realized you had the wrong jewel. <laughs> uh, Kyle, nice. final thought. I was both delighted to be a flying creature and to only deal thunder damage <laughs> in a plane of air. <laughs> you had wait, one you of you had... guys is going to have a real great time flying around. <laughs> hey, Don't get in any fights, though. <laughs> yeah, but you had, but you had, you had other spells that worked. Nope. I have shatter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> about the, the green. Oh, green the, flame blade. Yes. Green flame yeah. blade actually works. So stop your bitching. Uh, yeah, Rob, a little bit of backfire. <laughs> Rob, yeah. go ahead and take whatever you got in your mouth out and tell us your final thoughts. Really? Big snake. Oh, <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't the way I thought I was going to end up distracting the DVD, but. Um, hey. I think it was amazing. It, it, it's just a talent that Babs has in addition to smashing. One way she smashes, both ways. Okay. She um, got smashed, all right. And David, final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the encounter, especially being on another plane, the plane of air. Uh, it helps being uh, a sorcerer, being able to polymorph and uh, clockwork soul. I can I I manipulate dice rolls is basically what it does. So just try to get advantage or cancel it out, you know. So, so well, you, you, how many luck points did you have left? Uh, one. one, but the, uh, yeah, but I've got other things that work like luck. So there you go. I only have one rage left. Oh, I think you used that in the. I think you used that. <laughs> no, I use, That's where I used the other two. Uh, <laughs> I think I've. I, I think I've seen this as a bad movie. Uh, boo boo. Uh, boo boo. Hey boo boo. Uh, <laughs> boo boo and I had a, had a lot of abilities that that crossed. Uh, I I also had enlarge, reduce, and other things like that. I had haste, slow. You know. Haste would have killed Babs. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the one-shot edition. Uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it, whether it was live or, or later. Or horrifying. <laughs> yes, probably, you probably either follow us or never follow us again. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to be on the show, M. Hobo Inc., One Shots or uh, the talk show, M. Hobo Inc. at Gmail or Twitter. Hit us up. Let us know. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that could not save any of our sanity. We have all failed our wisdom roll with Babs. I'm just uh, wondering if I can find gin bugbear porn on Pornhub or not. I'm certain. I'm, certain. <laughs> I'm just kind of really can. curious. What's uh, the rule does it meet there? my imagination? If somebody has thought it, somebody is there. Yeah, what's, uh, what, what's the rule number for that? 
Yeah, 32, like 36, I don't remember. 69, Folks, if, whatever. To me, 69, if, if your name really. stinks like this one did, get some adventure sense. I don't think they make bugbear love yet. Uh, no. I don't think Bloom and Prairie right will say that. <laughs> the, uh, the adventure sense can you make in a uh, uh, Office no. Games make a bugbear love play? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Bugbear stank. Bug bear it'd, be stank. Mu- it'd be musky and uh, yeah, it'd be musky, like all right. Wine and, and musk. musk <laughs> and, yeah, wine and, and musk. Shame. A lot of shame. <laughs> wow. Uh thanks, Adventure Sense. Thanks, Fire Dog Dice. Thank you for watching us. Uh tune in tomorrow when the Margu campaigners try and figure out what they're gonna do with Robert of Zeppelin who is turning into a lycanthrope in a silver cage. We're out of here. Have a great weekend, folks. Bye-bye, folks. Bye. Horrifying. Uh, Horrifying. (laughs) Bye, everybody.